What is up, my Cappy Cappycorns? How is everybody doing for our last week of August here? Thank you for watching a Stella K video. And this is going to be your weekly love reading for the 23rd through the 30th of August, 2020. I hope everyone is enjoying the last little bit of summer. And just, I hope you all found like lots of fun stuff to do, you know? And stay till the end of the video and I'll tell you guys how to get free readings and free decks of cards at uh, the end of this week because I'm giving both out. It's the end of the month, so I give my three free decks out and then I also give free readings for free uh, reading Fridays. So just stay till the end and I'll tell you how to do that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'm a newbie, but I've been a reader for over 20 years, so don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Just remember, not all this will resonate with you. Um, I usually pick up on a certain percentage of the general collective, and some of it might be your story, some of it might not. And remember, energies are interchangeable. So if I say you or they, like whatever resonates with you, pick up that part and then throw the rest away. You know, whatever you can take from this, take from this. And also if I say he, she, king, queen, knight, I do not mean a woman or a man. I mean an energy. We all have feminine and masculine energy within us. So when I say that, I am picking up on energies. I am not picking up on a specific sex. Okay? And time is fluid. So if you see this after the 30th, that's fine. That's when universe wants you to see it. Remember, universe doesn't make mistakes. Everything you go through, you go through for a reason. All right, we got our first two cards here. All right, so in the recent past, we have the sun here. This is like happiness. And remember, recent past means like past month. Like, you guys, super happy. All right, and your current energy, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, that can be somewhat of huh, like a rushing in, kind of impulsive. So you might have done something a little bit impulsive, okay? You might be regretting it. You might not be. And my pre-shuffle, what I was getting off, you guys, was just like, like kind of like free-falling. Like, I kept hearing that, like, Tom Petty song, Free Falling. I don't know if you know it, but look it up, you know, if you can. It's, like, all over the place. It was just, like, free falling. Like, you're just kind of, like, letting life flow right now. Like, you're letting things flow for yourself. You're not going to worry about things too much. You're not going to put too much pressure on yourself, your relationship, your uh, person of interest. You're just going to let things free fall. And we'll go through and see how things fall, you know, free falling. All right, let's get your overall energy. Two of swords. We're at a crossroads. What did I say? Free falling. Like, it's just like decisions to make, but I don't know if you even want to make them. You're just having fun free falling. Like, it's just like, all right, right now, I just got to, like, get rid of this, you know, because, you know, Capricorns can be, I'm a Capricorn, so I know I relate to you more than any other sign. So that is, like, my sun sign and my, my rising sign. So, when I come to Capricorns, I know how you feel. We can be a little OCD and we can be very um, demanding and really know what we want. We go after things, but sometimes we just get in these energies of free falling. Like it's just like, you know what? I got to chill out on my OCD for a minute here and, you know, stop turning, you know, all the labels forward in my cabinets and just kind of let myself chill. And I feel like that's the energy you guys are in this week. All right, so for uh, continuation, I'm pulling some cards here. All right, subconscious energy, the hermit, a little bit internal, but that's okay because you just want to free fall. You don't want to be in front of people this week. You're just like, you know what, I just, I need time to think and just like be free. Like it's time to be free of my worries, my problems, like, and this is a love reading, but you're just like, you know what, I kind of just need to back off on love for a moment push it away, you know, and let myself figure out myself almost like, you know, that's what I'm feeling right now. Okay. In your obstacles category, we got the King of Wands that can be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So definitely there could be like a Sagittarius or a fire sign. That's kind of like, you know, on your mind in your way. Um, and you're not so sure what to do about it, but this week you're just going to let it free fall and see where the cards fall. Even in this reading, you're just going to watch where the cards fall, like to see where they fall, and you're going to take it one way or another. 
Okay, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles and influence of others. That's you. So they're looking at you exactly how they see you. People are seeing you. This is a Capricorn card, you know, and this is the sign of Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. You know, we're stable. We work hard. I mean, I'm up at midnight right now doing this, and I got to be up at 6 a.m., but I'm still up with y'all, and I'm do getting it done, you know, because that's what us Capricorns do, and people are seeing you in your energy. But this week, I don't feel like you're going to care so much. You're just going to be like free falling. I'm free falling. You're just going to be like, I'm done. Like, <laughs> you need a break from worrying so much. All right, what you should do category, three of cups, celebration. That can be water energy. Um, that can be like a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces. Um, this is what you should do. Like, I'm not feeling so much a third party situation in your situation right now. I'm more feeling like this week needs to be like about you, even like with your significant other or a person of interest. Like if they don't concentrate on you, you're just going to be like, you know, to the left, to the left, you know, like Beyonce says to the left, to the left, you know, like done, done. Okay. And for your outcome, you have the six of cups, which is like, you know, nostalgia. You may be going over a little nostalgia this week, thinking about a past person, but when you're thinking about this past person, you may be like kind of like going back and being like, you know, maybe it's not time for me to do these things. Maybe it's time for me to free fall, you know, and just enjoy my life. You know, a lot of us haven't been able to enjoy our lives, especially as Capricorns. And if you're home working, it's even worse for a Capricorn. I know I'm one that's home working right now. You know, I'm working from home and I'm doing this too. And it's, it's very difficult for us because we're so used to being social. We're so used to being out there and we're so used to, you know, like carrying our abundance and our pentacles are the most important things to us. So it can, it, it can be a huge issue for us. And then it can also affect our relationships and our attitudes. But this week, I feel like you're going to be in a good mood. Okay. You're definitely going to be in a good mood. We have the sun here and... We're at a crossroads, but I don't feel like we care much about it. So I feel like that's where we are right now. You guys are going to have a really good week. Even if you don't feel like it today, remember each day will be a little bit different. But I feel like overall it's going to be a good week. And you're going to get through a lot of psychological stuff, especially because you're her the hermit is in the subconscious. Like psychologically, you're going to go into your subconscious and you're going to think about things. I'm going to recommend like saging your house and doing like a salt bath because those are like, that's cleansing your body. And then saging your house is saging, you know, cleansing your home. I recommend both of those, you know, you can buy sage on Amazon for like $5 and then, you know, sea salt is sold at the grocery store, both open. All right, let's slice these and dices and clarify these cards and see what's up with the love. Okay, so your current energy, we don't clarify because we can't. I mean, this is your energy. You're at a crossroads right now. But right now, I don't think you're going to be thinking about that crossroads. You're not going to be making any major decisions this week. This week, you're just going to be staying in your energy. Okay, recent past, sun, very happy with whoever or whatever you were doing. You were very happy in the last few weeks. Okay, recent energy. All right, this is your present energy. Sorry. This is the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is being impulsive. This can be another person that is being impulsive and not really thinking about their actions. Let's see what's up with that. All right, we got the Queen of Swords. So right there, all right, that's cutting. That's another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So when we have the Queen of Swords, we're thinking, okay, this is something that needs to be cut out of our life. And that's where our crossroads are. I don't feel like in the recent, like right now, you haven't made a decision on what you want to do, but you will eventually. But this week, I feel like you're just going to kind of lay off stuff. Like, you're you're really going to lay off, like, the decision-making on relationships and the heavy talks. So, all right. Then we have the Magician. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or, just Gemini, Libra energy. Sorry. You're, like, my 17th reading of the night. I've been saying that so much. All right. You, we have every element we want to happen this week you know you do you can make anything you want to happen this week it it doesn't matter if you're impulsive or if you think it through 
the universe has your back. When you have the magician, the universe is going to give you everything you need to give you what you want. Okay? And then the three of pentacles, you know, that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is working on it. You're definitely not going to stop working. Capricorns never stop working. But you're going to um, not take it so seriously this week. This week you're kind of just going to, like I said, free falling. You're going to, like, go through your daily routines, but you're not going to stress out so much about accelerating your life. Like, you always want to accelerate your life so much because that's what Capricorns do. So you're going to take a minute with that because you're going to go into the hermit in your subconscious. And the hermit is all about going into your subconscious. And it's about thinking things through and what's good for you. Let's see what's good for you. The hierophant, major arcana. Okay, the hierophant is usually like marriage. It could be like, you know, your job in a major corporation that you're dealing with and trying to maybe expand yourself there. But I don't feel like you're going to stress yourself out no matter if you get that promotion. You don't. You stay at home. You don't go back to work. You know, you're not going to, like, stress yourself out. As far as relationships go, this can be a serious relationship on the horizon that you feel in your subconscious coming. Okay, Ace of Cups. Definitely serious relationship on the horizon because this is the biggest cup of love somebody can give you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. You're definitely going to have a big cup of love and you know what's coming towards you. If you ever notice, most of us uh, tarot readers are Capricorns because we know how to use our intuition. We're the oldest souls in the universe, if you didn't know that. And you've been through many lifetimes and your soul is very old. So never avoid your intuition as a Capricorn. Another major arcana, hangman. You're going to go stagnant. What did I say? You're going to free fall. Even though you're hanging by a string, you're not going to worry about it. You're just going to stay in your energy this week. You are not going anywhere. You're not going to make any quick moves. You're not going to make fast decisions. You're going to, you know, really just enjoy your week. Like, you're going to take naps. You're going to actually do things you never do. You're going to take that sea salt bath. You're going to stay in your bathtub for a while. You're going to read a book. You're going to stop cleaning and working. And you're going to just relax this week. And enjoy your life, you know, and smile. I feel like there's a lot of smiles coming from you this week. I feel like this is so much about you. And I'm not really picking up another energy yet, but we're still going through it. Okay. So um, in your obstacles category, we have the King of Wands. When I see the King of Wands, that's like my sexy man card. Okay. So definitely you might have a sexy man or a sexy woman that could be an obstacle. I mean, I see male phallic when I see wands, but I'm a little perv. But most of you Capricorns are, so you can totally relate to me. You know, but this can be like a leader. This can be somebody that's, you know, really passionate about everything. It's a fire sign. It's a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Those are all fiery signs. Those are the type of people that really just come at you and kind of throw you down on the floor. And you're like, "Woo, what just happened? So you might have a little fun, but it might be an obstacle for you. All right, page of cups, because afterwards you might just get a little... Pages are messages, and you might just get that little message when you wanted something bigger, but you're not going to worry about it. And then you get the Nine of Cups, okay, or the Nine of Swords, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. It might keep you up at night a little bit, but I really want you guys to free fall this week. I want you to not worry about things so much. Remember, like, this is advice, and you have free will. So... If I'm telling you something might happen to you, it doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. It means you have a choice. With all tarot readers, you have a choice. You are the one in charge of your destiny. So, you know, even if you got to take a sleeping pill, do what you got to do. Because then you become the empress. You know, you're going to be the empress this week. You're going to be in your intuition. And what did I just say about intuition? You are going to think a lot. Don't get me wrong. You're just going to, like, take it easy, though. You're not going to be going so quickly into relationships. You're going to be taking it easy, and you're going to concentrate more on self-care. Because I feel like you have worried so much about other people for the longest time that it's time for you to kind of reel yourself in and give yourself a week of self-care. Okay, influence of others, queen of pentacles, they see you exactly for who you are. You know, it, they see you know, and the people that don't see, like, 
How can you not see a Capricorn for a Capricorn? You know, determined, ambitious, and stubborn because we're goats. Okay, we're not even going to clarify that one. I know you guys don't have all day. All right, what you should do, the Three of Cups, celebration. It's celebration time. Who should you celebrate with? All right, the King of Pentacles. That's what I'm talking about. That's your true match, a King of Pentacles right there because we're the Queen of Pentacles, and now we got a true match on the board, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. All right, this is your person. This is who you want to party with this week. This is who you want to have fun with this week. This is who you want to talk to this week, okay? This is a stable person. This is somebody that emotionally is open. This is somebody that isn't closed off. This is somebody that like really has their feelings in check, you know, and knows what they want and they go after it. And they're also like financially stable and, you know, family friendly. So that's kind of who you want to hang out with this week. All right. Because then you get the Ten of Cups, one of the best cards in the deck. That uh, can be Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces energy, but you get your Ten of Cups. That's family how that's like all the love you could want in a home and in a relationship. Like this is like happy, you know, marriage, happy relationship and happy family. What did I say? That's what you get. And then the chariot totally moving forward towards each other. Like totally. Now this is my love reading. I knew it was going to turn into a love reading eventually. Totally moving towards each other, the chariot. And this is major arcana. I feel like you guys are going to come really close really quickly and it's going to be because you're not stressing about it. Stop stressing and then like, you know, you come together kind of like magnets. Okay. At the end, we have uh, your conclusion. We have the six of cups. That's usually like nostalgia and a past person. So it might be a person that, you know, was in your past that you're already dating. And then we have the page of swords. Okay. So you're going to get, you know, a message of truth. That can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but that's just like being honest with each other. Like maybe somebody calls you and says, hey, hey, babe, I miss you. Okay, then we have the Ten of Wands. Not such a good card, but not unusual for Capricorns. We are always carrying Ten of Wands on our back. You know, these are burdens, but we know how to carry them and we are strong and we know what to do with them. So don't stress out about that card, okay? And then Justice at the end. This can be a Libra coming into your life. And it can also mean that, like, finally the right thing is being done. Like, you're getting justice. You could be in a court case, don't get me wrong, and get a judgment in your favor. But a lot of times justice can mean, like, finally a right is made wrong. Or a, a wrong is made right. Sorry. I haven't, this, I've done too many readings today. All right. A right or a wrong is made right. So finally that, that, that wrong is going to be made right. And you're going to finally be able to get that off your back. But I feel like in the beginning of the week, that's why you're going to free fall because it's like you just can't think about it anymore. Okay, let's pull some romance angels. And then what time are we at? Oh, it doesn't say. It. I can't see. All right, I think I, I have time to pull your chakra card too. Let's slice them and dice them and see what angel romance has to say. All right, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to uh, unfold naturally. So definitely you want to let go of your control issues this week and free fall. Just enjoy your week, okay? Relax. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Hey, Labor Day is coming up. Who are you going to enjoy Labor Day with? All right, calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations and visual visualizations help you help bring the two of you together. I hate when Saturn's in Capricorn because I can't speak. It like clogs up my throat chakra. How perfect is that, though? I mean, totally goes with your reading. You really just need to let things like free fall and let them fall into place. You're at a crossroads. Just let things fall as they may. Let the cards fall. You know what they say? Isn't that the saying? Like where the cards fall or whatever. I don't I know I'm saying it wrong, but I told you. Whenever you guys watch. Try to watch your language, too, as Capricorns. When Saturn's in Capricorn, we can't talk. We can't. But that's when we need to free fall because things can get intense. So we need to take those weeks where we promise ourselves that we're going to chill. So I want you guys to do that for yourselves. Because by the end of the week, you're going to end up with your King of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups and the Chariot. It's going to be fast, too, I feel like. I feel like get online if you're single 
If you have an ex you have problems with, still get online. Okay. All right. Let's do a chakra card. All right. Third chakra, your solar plexus. Choice, freedom of choice. What am I saying? These things are always come out right. My spirit's good. I have the freedom to choose, so I choose wisely because my decisions have a great impact on how I see myself and how I feel about myself. I own, accept, and express my feelings unreservedly and do not try to escape them with my own mind games. I feel free to choose how I respond to any situation. I choose to respond with clarity and understanding. What did I say? I'm telling you, these things are good. I love these cards. So just remember, like, your solar plexus is where you make your decisions. You know, it's where your feelings come from about self-control, too. So I want you guys to just really relax this week. And I told you, sea salt baths. Definitely sage your home. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I can't not say that as a YouTube reader. And at the end of the week, just put your name below Capricorn in the comments. And you're in the drawing for the free Friday reading and also for the free cards at the end of the month. All right. I love you guys. And I'll see you in a couple days for the How They Feel About You readings. I hope this helped. And I hope you guys relax this week and you find your King of Pentacles or your Queen of Pentacles because there's a true match on this board here. So that's good. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.